special special oh yes how can i forget this today is my best friend's birthday happy birthday utkarsh no it is it today is maths day how can you forget that maths day oh yes now i remember this day is dedicated to shrinivasan ramanujan you are correct yes now let's go to the maths lab to pay a tribute to this great mathematician oh wow let's go He was one of the greatest mathematicians of the British era. Yes, he was born on 22 December 1887 to a very poor family in Erode, Tamil Nadu. And by God's grace, he was good in all subjects and managed to get a scholarship in a local school. Uh, but I have heard that his scholarship was taken away from him. What could be the reason behind that? Yes, due to his growing interest in maths. He could not give time to other subjects, and his scholarship was taken away. And you know, his parents were so poor that they could not afford to send him to another school. But as it is said, where there is a will, there is a way. He did not lose hope and gave all his attention to mathematics. He completed the whole book of trigonometry in just one year at a mere age of thirteen, just by himself. Oh. And in his short life of 32 years, he made many contributions to many mathematical fields such as complex analysis, number theory, infinite series, and continued fraction. Oh, now let me speak. I just want to tell you about one of his experiences. Once, when he was visited by Jay Hardy, Hardy told him that the number of his taxi was very boring. Yes, the number 1729. That J S Hardy told was boring was not actually boring. This number one seven two nine can be expressed as a sum of two huge in two different ways. Oh. Then he came across a book called The Synopsis of Mathematical Results in Pure Mathematics. Yes, in nineteen hundred and four he did a deep research on Bernoulli numbers, and you know this was his first independent discovery. In the same year he was provided the The fellowship of the Royal Society and began the first year to do so. And you know some of his awards were Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar in 2015 and Birla Science Prize in 2013. Sad to say, this man did not could not survive the weather of the East and was suffering with tuberculosis. He was later sent to India where he bade goodbye to this world on 26 April 1920. Wow, such an inspiring story. Now let's go to the math lab and pay tribute. 